here today speaking with Rich Carpenter, Chief Technology Strategist at GE Intelligent Platforms. Welcome, Rich. Thanks, Paula. GE has assumed the role of evangelist for the industrial internet of things. Can you briefly share with us G GE's vision of what that is? Sure, and, and the reason we're an evangelist is it's important to our business, and being important to our business, it's also very important to a lot of our customers that are using the products that, that we sell and provide. And the industrial internet to us is really the marriage of the consumer internet technologies with the needs of the industrial businesses in a way that makes the people, the equipment, and our processes much more productive than they could otherwise be. And that consumer technology has been proven in uh, many different applications, and we see that the technologies like cloud computing, like advanced analytics, like big data, play a very big role in the GE industrial businesses. I see. It is a train that is on the move, and you better get on or you're going to be left behind, I believe. Predictivity solutions are GE's industry-focused solution set for the industrial internet. Which solutions were brought forth by intelligent platforms? So we have a number of solutions that are predictivity solutions from intelligent platforms. For example, we have an application called Mind Performance, which is really doing a combination of reliability and process optimization in the mining industry. Uh, we have another predictivity solution around manufacturing and food safety. And these applications really are driving at what we call the Brilliant Factory Initiative using the industrial internet technologies. And we find without question that we can save customers 10, 15, 20 percent of, of cost in various aspects just by controlling some of the key process indicators. Things like WIP, things like downtime, things like uh, people productivity, and having the right information to the right people at the right time. Also from a predictivity solution across GE, some of the GE Intelligent Platforms technology like SmartSignal, which does predictive diagnostics, is actually in use in some of the other predictivity solutions from GE in the oil and gas and the power industry. Brilliant factories, like that's a catchy term. Can you elaborate on that a bit? Sure, Brilliant Factories is an initiative within GE because we have actually more than $72 billion of spend across 150 manufacturing plants in the company. And so we believe that if we can improve that just a couple of percent, it makes a very big impact on the bottom line performance for GE as a whole. And so we're looking at how do we put the automated systems in place from a software standpoint, make use of some of the newer technologies like 3D printing, and really bring all that together to get connectivity across the plant floor and to connect the digital thread, which we think of between the PLM systems, which are doing the designs, the manufacturing execution systems, which are actually producing the product, the ERP systems, which are deciding what is the most important to build, and then also the supply chain. So be able to collaborate with the supply chain and really do quality data collection as a natural part of the manufacturing process. I see. GE has invested significant resources to develop the Predix platform. Why was a new platform necessary, and what are its advantages for users as well as GE? Yeah, sure. I mean, that's a great question because uh, we actually built a center in San Ramon, just outside of San Francisco, near the heart of Silicon Valley, and I've hired about a thousand people and put them into that center. And the purpose is to, to one, develop the new skills we need across the company, like data science, like uh, uh, data engineering, like user experience, but also some of the technologies around cloud compute platforms and big data. And so the Predix platform, think of it more like what we do in industry, but at cloud scale supporting the ecosystem. Some of the benefits for customers is as that cloud platform grows, we can get the cost to serve down quite a bit. And we can put the security in place at a level that you know most companies probably wouldn't have it within their reach. I think you may know that we recently acquired a company called WorldTech, which is a expert in cybersecurity, and we're integrating a lot of those technologies right into the cloud platform. Second thing is around how do you manage an elastic compute and an elastic uh, storage capacity inside of this big data infrastructure? Because the world's industrial data is far in excess of the world's consumer data. We actually, with a single turbine in a day, will produce more data than Twitter will in an entire year. That's the type of volume that we're talking about. So to be able to collect that data, organize it, and to get some valuable information and insights out of it, we needed a new platform to do that. And so the Predix platform is covering that space. And I think what you'll find is with the traditional prophecy products, some of the capabilities that the customers have, have used and, and had good experience with will just be integrated into that cloud platform and be part of the, the overall offering. Good. 
As we move into 2015, we're hearing a lot about APM, or Asset Performance Management, a subject that's near and dear to my heart. What is GE's view on the importance of APM? APM is one of the critical functions that I think all companies have to master. And I think it's starting to change into where we were always pushing that kind of capability to customers, where they're starting to recognize the value and actually draw on us as experts in the field. And it really starts with the ability to develop the strategies. What are the most important assets that you need to manage and to prioritize those? And it may not be the most expensive assets that are the most important to manage because every major asset is surrounded by other equipment. And if that other equipment fails, it actually may take down your high value asset that's producing a lot of the benefit for the company. So first to get the strategies correct, then we need to be able to connect, monitor, analyze, and, and really predict future failures on that equipment. That requires an infrastructure to get connectivity across the plant, to bring the data into a cloud base or other infrastructure, and then run predictive algorithms. We've moved to where we support, in addition to the physics-based algorithms we use traditionally, more empirical algorithms that are based on a historical signature of the asset. And from that, we can actually predict weeks, months in advance of, a, of any kind of a failure so people can prevent in real time rather than react in real time. I think after you've sort of got your anomaly detection in place very well in an asset performance strategy, then you need to be able to decide, well, what's the cause of the anomaly? What do we recommend that people take as action to fix it? Did that action actually work? And if not, what did they do instead in order to address the problem? And capture all that in a knowledge base so that we can go back over time, mine that information, and get to the point where when the anomaly first comes up, we can actually tell the customer with 93% confidence if you take this action, that anomaly will, will be resolved. And then that information goes to what we would call the, the service-oriented applications that are directing the people to the assets to do repairs, or the maintenance organization that's going to take certain steps to keep the equipment healthy over time. Once you've completed that cycle, then you do an analysis again, adjust your strategies, and go through the cycle again. And that whole process we think of in terms of asset performance management. I couldn't agree more. I, I just firmly, firmly believe that the benefits are too great to ignore. Uh, it makes for safer plants. It also uh, will help bridge that skills gap. I believe as uh, suppliers and manufacturers are, are looking to bridge that gap, that this is, is the way to do it. Yeah, I completely agree. Uh, how can industrial companies put analytics to work for them to optimize their plant and asset operations? And how can GE help them? You know, the first step in absolutely any uh, customer that wants to start this journey is to get connectivity to their equipment and to start to store the data. And a lot of times, you don't even know what you're going to do with the data to start. But you need that infrastructure in place to connect and store the data in some kind of uh, organized fashion because over time, as you build these analytic skills, that data that you've collected, it actually has future value. It's kind of like oil in the ground. You know, you may have it and ready, but until you use it, you don't see the value. So you need to collect the data, and that's the first thing we do with customers. Get connectivity to the data, store it in some of the modern techniques, some of the newer historian technologies, get it into big data infrastructures if that's what's required. Then we've actually packaged analytics in a way that is quite approachable to the, to the people that are uh, in need of that. So for example, we do have analytic experts and data scientists that can look at the data and come up with new algorithms, but once we've determined that algorithm, we've packaged it in such a way that the subject matter experts on the equipment can actually create what we call the analytic blueprints to interpret when the model indicates that you know, the, the anomaly is starting to form, what does it mean? Does it mean a fuel filter is clogged? Does it mean that there's some icing on a casing or, or some other type of anomaly? So we've actually brought that so that it's in the hands of the people that are equipment experts. And we can help people do that either as a service or um, put it on site and develop that expertise. I think the final area, once people really use these techniques to get to stable operations, is we can help them optimize processes and actually get more throughput through a lot of their facilities, and that translates typically to the bottom line from a performance standpoint. Thank you, Rich. You're welcome, Paula. It was my pleasure. We've been speaking today with Rich Carpenter, Chief Technology Strategist for GE Intelligent Platforms.